Okay, let's look at variables firsthand. As before, we've created a partially completed template so that we can focus on declaring variables and two related errors to watch out for. You'll find it useful to have the locals window available. This can be found on the Visual Basic Editor view pull down window. We will start by declaring four variables. Dim, Jan, Sales, as integer, dim feb sales as long, dim march sales as long. Whoops, I did a typo. Let's get rid of that E. And dim quarter one sales as long. So, as you can see, we will define all of them as long, except for gen sales, which we've defined as an integer. This is, in fact, our first error, but more about that later. Next, we are going to assign values to the variables. Jan slays equals 1535600. Feb sales equals 1856300 and March sales equals 1654732. Please note that we are purposely spelling Jan sales incorrectly. This is our second error. Next, we use our variables in equations to create other variables. So now we type quarter one Quarter one sales equals Jan sales plus Feb sales plus March sales. Finally, we type the code to populate the spreadsheet. Range, parentheses and quotation marks, A3 dot value equals Quarter one sales columns parentheses and quotation marks a auto fit and finally range b three dot value equals quarter one sales. Now let's run the code by going to the Run pull-down menu and selecting Run, or F5. We're not presented with any error messages. However, however quarter one sales is 3511032 instead of the correct number. We can see this by going to the Excel spreadsheet. So quarter one sales, 3511032. If you were to add up Jan sales, Feb sales, and March sales, the correct number would actually be 5,046,632. The problem is that we accidentally created a fifth variable, Jan slays, but did not use this in our quarter one sales formula. This form of typo can easily be avoided by putting two words at the top of our code window. Option explicit. Option explicit restricts us to only using variables that we have declared. Now let's run the code again. Now we get our error message, variable not defined and debug will take us directly to the line of code with the undefined variable. Once we correct for this error, we will get another error message when we run the code one more time. So let's run it.
This time we get an overflow error message. The Jan sales figure of 1535600 five, is overflowing the Jan sales storage location. In effect, it is too big for the size of the storage bucket. If we change the Jan sales data type from integer to long, our code will now run as expected. Let's try that. We will reset the project. We will hit run. And we'll look at Excel. And yes, now we have the right number for quarter one cells, 504-6632.